championship bout for the welterweight championship of X1. As we take a look at the tail of the tape between these two combatants, Bennett with tons of experience, but has father time caught up to him. Correct, 37 is kind of off to kind of keep yourself, but look at his body. He looks like he's in great shape, got the six pack. We'll see, he's always been stronger than guys at his size, but um, that's usually at 155. Doesn't want to shake hands. Some of the crazier things he has done, you alluded to, jumping off the, the cage. He is mugged for the camera while the match is going on. It's going to be see, interesting to, if he can weather the storm here from Brother Cooper. He's definitely got the best grow in MMA, too. Oh, oh nice right hand. Starts the show with a big right hand. The clinch. We'll try to trip. Oh, oh, nice elevation. Wow. You know, Bennett is known for his booyah horse slam, and he just got booyahed right there. Remember we told you about the wrestling prowess of Ray Brodacoop. He hasn't had to use a lot of it because he's been knocking guys out with lightning speed. Probably a good strategy because Crazy Horse is known for his power as well. Um, a lot better to kind of keep that top position. Good, good strategy there. In fact, in the 21 submissions, uh, 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 let's say the, the 33 losses that he's had, he's been submitted 21 times. So that's 60% of his losses has been by submission. Probably gonna try to pass that guard, pump the knee down. Kind of an awkward little half guard uh, position. Normally you hook with that right leg. Instead of that top left leg. Oh, looks like he's kind of got a guillotine. Let's start cranking on this position. Can he finish it right here? He's got the hook. No is, signal from Bennett yet. This is a very difficult position to finish, finish with. And he did the right thing of just rolling over. As now Bennett taking some shots to the midsection of Cooper. He's turning his chin into the ribs. Now the more Butter pulls him in, the more he gets the, the chin in his ribs. Trying to squeeze his head out, and he did. He got out right into Cooper's guard. Now let's see what kind of guard Cooper has. He hasn't been on his back a lot. Oh. Such a powerful wrestler, great scrambler. Then has to kind of create some space here, get his arms back. Well, back in March, Cooper made a trip down to, uh, to Guam, where he lost the fight, if, if you couldn't imagine that, to, to a Korean down on Guam, and he lost by Anaconda Choke. And I just asked him what went wrong there. He just, I just made a mistake, left his neck out, and he, he, he took full advantage of it. But you're right, Mike Wenzuki, you never hardly see Cooper on his back. Yeah, this is going to be a test, yeah. Every fight, you want to test yourself and get better. And that's the problem with having such um, success with those quick finishes. You kind of, like, you do all this training, you do all this preparation, and uh, you're not exactly sure where it is. You don't get any type of... Uh, experience in the cage by implementing all these techniques. Right from this position, as we've seen videotape of uh, Bennett, he likes to, to grab his opponent right here and pick him up and do what they call the booyah horse slam. Right from there, he, he throws people up against the cage. I saw him one flip a guy right into the post. He probably doesn't want to do that here. He's going to give um, great opportunity to kind of scramble up. He's going to try to see if he can kind of sneak himself, wall walk himself up to the cage, maybe post that hand up. Now he's got that underhook. He's going to place that left hand on the ground. See him post himself up. I think once he kind of releases that hand, then it's going to start, yep, laying that right hand. Nice sweep. Try to sweep right there. Nice body shot. Oh, he just, just missed with that right hand. Head your breath a little bit. Oh, the kick. Oh, that rock pass. Oh, and a swinging left hand. Uh -oh. He's taking his back. Bar. Oh, he's got bar. a hit. A heel lock. That knee bar. It's a knee bar. A knee bar. Yeah, he needs to turn himself out or untangle himself. Little low. Oh, he tries the inside heel. He doesn't have the best position with the legs. And he gives it up. <laughs> what he wants to do, he wants to punish Bennett now as he now pulled out. Again. Trying to choke him out. Trying to choke him out. You see the strain on Bennett's face. Yeah. He's straining his legs up to try to sneak himself to the side. He trim himself off to the side to get an angle. He's not even, usually he's trying to get that left Bennett hand into the pool. Oh, Bennett. Oh, nice switch over. 
great sweep. Good the turn of events here. That's a, that's a good veteran. That's yeah. a wily veteran. That is, that is. Because normally you see it, he got that hand, pull the wrist down to create space, but I think what he ought to do is have a boy extend his body so much, made it easy to kind of roll, take the top. Now he's in the same position he was before. He's got that wrist. Normally you kind of step over that, look for a triangle. Ten seconds left. As Cooper tries to finish hard with a couple of hard shots to Bennett's face. Oh, and Bennett got in a stiff right hand. And that's the end of round number one. Definitely an interesting round. Now that um, see Cooper on his back, two instances, attacking some submissions. Very unfamiliar positioning for Ray Cooper. He's used to coming out and dictating the tempo of the fight, usually the time of the fight. As we take a look at the replay from round number one. There's that body lock clinch. He's just gonna grab him, nice little hip heist. Drops him down. Maybe he tries to go to the mount position. Crazy did a good job at um, keeping his knee up. Excuse me, fell, you know. <laughs> Felony, yeah. I just love Crazy Horse. That yeah, I, I, I loved it too. <laughs> and if you call him Crazy Horse, he gets very upset. Oh, yeah. And there you saw some of the uh, the fisticuffs that uh, Cooper came up after he got up off the deck. So very interesting round. Very hard to score in that particular fight. But this is five five-minute rounds, so... The mission's going to be a key, you if, know? If Cooper thought he was going to walk all over this one, he, he, he's got a fight on his hands. High kick. Doesn't hit it smart. Cooper throwing nice body, body shots. Boy, hit it. Oh, knee. Found it. Coming back. Oh, yes, oh, oh, nice head kick. Great hands down. Felony went right down with a kick to the head. And Cooper followed up with a punch and did an elbow. Up kick by Bennett. Oh, and a big right hand as he gives up the back to Cooper. Cooper now tries another. Takes his another, back. Tries another choke. Can't get it in. He's got the back mount here. He wants to try to free that left hand, attack the neck with the left hand, if possible, because he got that good one-on-one -on -one with that right arm. Oh, he's trapping a leg. Yeah. Looking for the for there's a footlock. He crosses the leg. There's a footlock there. Cooper released it. Oh, here comes the head and arm choke. There it comes. Deep breathing Let's by see. Bennett. He's got his hand in here like this. He had a choke before, but he gave it up. Can he finish him this time? Is Bennett wise just to sit there? Yeah, he doesn't have optimal position right here. Yeah, so he's kind of he inserted his hand there to kind of create space and protect the other side of his neck. And you kind of see Cooper felt he didn't have it. He really gives it back. He'd rather really give up a face shot than rather really get choked out. Definitely, definitely. It's, it, it's worth it if you abandon ships on that. Let's so now, Cooper in the full mount now. Gonna lean on him a little bit. There's the elbow. Are they talking? Are they talking smack I'm not there? Sure. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know if Bennett has anything to talk about. To me, a guy who has that many fights, this is the kind of time that the, the experience comes in handy. He's in a terrible position. He's, kind of, he's trying to keep his cool. He's trying to breathe underneath there, looking for an opportunity to make something happen. He's trying to control that posture to minimize that damage. Also, just try to weather the storm here. Let Cooper, the one, to expend energy. Correct. Bring this into the later rounds because, um, you know, usually Cooper hasn't gone. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, he scrambled and got back to his feet, almost took the top position. Deep breath by Great. Cooper. Wow, that was a big breath. Yeah. Mouth open. That might be a good sign. Oh! 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 Hand. Oh! oh, that's it! That's it! Fight over! Cooper retains the belt! Just when he thought he was getting tired. He turns over that left hook.
That was a great performance by Charles Bennett as well, though. You know, great ring savvy control, took the top position on a guy who's a, who's a wrestler. He's still kind of in La La Land as Ray Broder Cooper successfully defends his X1 welterweight championship belt. And wow, what a big left hand to send Bennett down for the count. Good sportsmanship exhibited by both guys. I, I think Bennett's more, um, you know, give an opportunity and get caught with that left hand when he's doing so well. Uh oh, what's, what's happening what's, here? What's happening there? He grabbed the uh, jersey of uh, Kevin Yoshida. What was he doing there? He's worried about the stoppage. That's why. Is that what he's complaining about? I think so. He didn't realize he was knocked out. You mean he's been robbed? <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna see the video and and realize that the referee did a good job at stopping the fight. Because even when Kevin Oshia went in and stopped the fight, he kind of was like reaching for those legs. We'll see. So here's, here's oh, there's that was the that big short shot. left hook right there. There it is right there. And oh. he just finishes them off. Good job by you Kevin Yoshida. You can see he really wasn't um, his wits about him. That was a good stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these two warriors. There's that short left hook. Boom, boom. Head rock back. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. referee Kevin Yoshida calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes and 48 seconds of the second round. For your winner by TKO, and still the X1 World Welterweight Champion, Ray Brada Cooper. Brother boy runs his record to now 13 and 3 as he keeps the belt. Doesn't even want to put it on. And we'll hear from the champion. That was an amazing fight. I'm going to give you the mic. You say whatever you want to your fans, to the people of Hawaii and the fans of X1. My wife, and my kids, I love you guys. My mom there, my family. You guys put it over me. You guys was there for me. And I love you guys. The bottom of my heart, all you guys, my whole family. I love all you guys. And to Charles Bennett, thank you for coming on and challenging me. I was a game opponent, I've been fighting for forever since I was in my mom's womb. I was an animal. But anyway, right now, he fought the best of the best. Okay, give him respect. He, go, he, took, him, he took the fight to me. Okay, one of my toughest fights I had yet. He's the man right there. I'd like to thank you, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And this belt is staying here till I get to the UFC. And when I get to the UFC, all those 170 is, you guys going down, that's my belt. You have over 60 fights on your resume. You came in tonight and you were not intimidated at all by the power of Ray Cooper. Well, how do you feel about your performance tonight? Uh, what happened? What happened? I, I don't remember what happened. Listen, this guy took this fight last minute at a higher weight. He fights at 145 and 155. So listen. Can we invite you back to fight at 155 and 145? How, who would like to see Charles Bennett back in the cage? Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love y'all, Hawaii. Yeah, I took this fight. Uh, I know I'm stronger than a lot of these, uh, these Rudy Poots out here. So that's why I took this fight at 170. I, I, I weighed in at 156 or some shit. But, uh, hey, Ray, you still a bitch. <laughs> Felony Charles Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. What?